Well, it's a beautiful spring day in Ontario here, so you know what that means. It's time. Welcome back, everybody. Hope you're all having an awesome day. Well, it's been uh, two days of 80 degrees here in Ontario, which is not unheard of because next week it's supposed to get down here freezing. But we got to get started on the garden. Let me show you quickly what we have going on so far. These here are potatoes. This here all needs to be planted yet. We're going to be doing that today and I'll show you what we're doing. But we are not going to be having as many pots as we had last year. Uh, if you recall in some of the past videos, that fence over there all the way along and all the way along the back was pots and all the way around this side of the deck as well I'm not doing that this year a lot of them just didn't take and they became more work than what they were worth so we're gonna get these planted here I'm gonna show you what we're planting some of the seeds are gonna be our own that we harvested last year and some are gonna be some that we some are gonna be some some are gonna be seeds that we bought this year there how's that All right, now the table makes it a lot easier to work on. I gotta get my deck cleaned off. Got some gas cans, step ladder. I'm not sure what the little, I'm not sure what I'm doing with that little step ladder out here. Beginning to look like a, never mind. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna get the pots up on the table here. It'll make it a little easier to work on. Uh, Jen should be home in a minute and we'll show you exactly what's going on. Right, one of the cool things we're using, I think you guys may have seen some of these around before. This is a biodegradable cup. Put your dirt in there, put your seed in there. Thanks, Diesel. Once the plant gets big enough to go in the ground, you just put this in the ground and let it go. I usually tear the bottom off of it because it just helps the roots come out a little easier, but you don't have to. Just put it in the ground. Also, I bring our potatoes in every night. And I bring them back out in the morning to get the sunlight. The reason is, is it still gets cold here at night. We're going to be doing the same thing with all these trays. But the bottom of the trays have holes in them, as you can see there. So if you try and water them, the water is just going to leak right through onto the floor, which we don't want. So at Lowe's yesterday, we found these trays here for $2.99. So we're just going to take all these cups and put them in here that way we can water them and still carry them in and out and the water doesn't get all over the floor look at me thinking not really jen had the idea all right so this is not sponsored but we want the seeds to get the best start they can get so this is a potting mix premium seed starting potting mix which means it's got no debris or sticks or anything in it uh-oh somebody's home Oh boy, Ella had a sleepover last night. She's just getting home. So we have some of our pepper seeds, some of our other seeds, and we have some store-bought ones. These are the field cucumbers. Yeah. Wow. Well, the normal cucumber. Yeah. And these are pickling? Yeah. How far are you pushing them down? Just putting them in there and just pushing them down with my finger. About an inch? Yeah. So we got six pickling ones yeah. now? And then next week I will plant some more so that they're all staggered. Okay. Alright, now next we're doing peas. So how many we do? Four? Four, yeah. Okay. So, four then. so we got six full size cucumbers, six pickling cucumbers. Four peas. <laughs> I was singing up a storm. <laughs> oh, those are ours too, aren't they? Um, 
probably get some more of that stuff to put in that garden bed. It's a little nicer. I mean, it's still got the sticks in it, but... If these seeds are black, you can't even see them in the dirt when you put them in. Oh, the onions? Oh. Wow, we're putting them in tubs. We got, the, we got the peas, cucumbers. These are the baby cucumbers. Pickling and regular cucumbers. Or do I got that backwards? Nope, that's the pickling cucumbers. These are all our tomatoes and some peppers at the end. And Jen's got some onions going in this half here. We gotta wait a bit before we get the carrots in the other end. Now, this is just phase one. We're gonna let this go for about 10 days and then we're gonna do it all over again because that way you're staggering your crop is coming in at later times. Otherwise, you'll end up with a million tomatoes and a million cucumbers all at once and we don't want them to go bad. So that's what we're doing. It's that time. I hope you're getting in your garden, providing yourself with your own food. So you don't have to rely on the grocery store and or the price. We got more planned to come. See you on the next one. Later. Some are going to be some that we... Some? Some are going to be some that we... Some are going to be some. Some are going to be seeds that we bought this year. There. How's that?